Hi everybody, this is Christina, the Amputee OT. In this video, I'm going to show you how a prosthetic knee works. This is an Oser Total Knee. It is a hydraulic geometric polycentric uh, there's a bunch of other words that are used to describe it that I'm kind of forgetting right now at the moment. It's a mechanical knee, so it's not a microprocessor knee. You don't need a charger for it. It's just the knee right here. The way this knee works is that when you put weight on the toe and you flex at the hip, then the knee bends. So right now I've got all the weight on the toe and I'm flexing at the hip to make the knee bend. And then it's got a hydraulic extension assist. So it basically extends itself using hydraulics. If you're just standing and you don't have your weight on the heel, then you cannot bend the knee. So like right now, I'm trying to bend the knee and it doesn't bend. If you sit down, the leg just stays straight, but you can actually get it to bend pretty easily. You just kick it and it bends down, let's get back up. So it's locking into place, kick it and bends down. So right now I'm, I'm trying to flex at the hip to get it to bend. It's not bending. But if I put my weight on the toe, then it bends. Now if I put my weight on the toe and keep my hip extended, it won't bend. So like if I was leaning on a counter or something, if I keep my hip extended, my weight on the toe, it doesn't bend. But as soon as I put my flex the hip at all, it starts to bend. And then of course when I extend my leg, it goes back into place. So once I, once I flex at the hip and take weight off of it so that it's not touching the ground, then the extension assist, which is hydraulic, extends the leg back into place. And then you put your heel back down. So it cannot bend when you're in heel or when you're standing level on the foot, it will only bend when you put your weight on the toe of the foot. This red thing you see here is a bumper. They come in different stiffnesses. This one is actually too stiff for me. I'm supposed to have like a black one. I know that because I looked in the manual for it, but it's a leg that I'm borrowing, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, it's not set up perfectly for me at all. But that's okay, because it's just something that I'm borrowing that's not mine that I'm going to be using forever. If you look here on the side, you can see that there are little screw-looking things, and those are so that you can adjust the flexion and extension. I don't remember exactly what they do. I'd have to look in the manual. But if you look online, there's actually a manual for this knee and it explains how to adjust the flexion and the extension. There's also another adjustment knob there. Uh, I don't remember exactly what that one does either. I'll have to look it up. And there's the bumper. You can also get it to flex by push, by squeezing here and here. Oh, ow! I just hit myself in the shin. So it's locked in place unless this joint here is up this way. So see right, see right here? So it's locked into place, it's in stance. But then if you put weight on the toe, it allows it to bend here. So it's, it's stuck in place and then it bends. Hopefully that makes sense. Cause it's pretty, it's a pretty cool design to be honest. Uh, total knee, it's a very popular knee. A lot of people use it. It's a very robust leg. They last a long time. 
Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it educational. If you want to subscribe, you can follow my journey. And happy... I don't know what's happening in the other room. Happy whatever it is you're doing. Happy day. Happy day. Happy kneeing. Happy walking. I don't know.